Hey guys, what's going on? Tuo Cruz here, checking in with another cycling video here in Nagoya, Japan. Actually today, we've ridden out to Seto City. Seto City is on the northeast side of Nagoya and really on the outskirts right from here, we get really into the countryside. And this is a pretty historic town actually. And today we're gonna be riding towards a little waterfall area. So it's a new tourist area, or not a new tourist area, but a new place that we haven't been to yet, right in our neck of the woods. And we decided to go for a nice ride in the hot summer. It is really hot today. High humidity, high temperature, and hot jerseys. We got our hot red jerseys on. I'm here with Tuan Chan. <laughs> and yeah, it's a beautiful area we're cycling through today. And I don't normally ride in this area too much or I haven't very much lately. And I wanted to show you guys this area because it shows you guys a little bit more of the more traditional style roads. Amigi. And I've got my directions in the map because this is, again, a new place for me. But you can see we've got some new houses in here, mixed in with some of the old. That's the way Japan rolls, mixing the new and the old. Migi. So even these small little narrow roads can be pretty busy. And it looks like we're riding along a little river canal. But lots of cool houses along this road. And we're riding away from the city right now. I've got my map plugged in here. We're riding directly north. And this is going to be a full ride video. So not really going to cut anything. I'll try and talk as much as I can, but there may be some longer sections where I don't say anything. If you'd like to see more cycling videos like this in Japan, I've added my POV riding playlist here. So you can check that out and check out some longer rides here in Japan. You can use it to cycle along with if you're riding a trainer, riding indoors or whatever. Apologies if the bugs are really loud, but the cicadas, semi in Japanese, are really loud right now. And some places it is insane how loud they are. My ears actually really hurt. But yeah, we got some factories back here as we're getting out of the residential area. Another factory here. And we will be doing a little bit of climbing today. No big mountains or anything. Chung is a bit of a gear masher. She always likes to push a big gear. Cool little, looks like an abandoned house though. And also, if you're interested, we did film one other video right before this where we rode from our hometown area, which is more city, and how we got to this area. So you can see our full ride. This second video is a continuation from where we finished off the last video. The topic is a little different. In the last video, I was talking about our moving plans on whether we should stay here in Japan or stick with our original plan of moving to Vietnam. So it's a little bit more topical but it's still a ride video. You can check that one out. And yeah, over here, there's a lot of quarries. So big trucks just coming to pick up dirt. It's <laughs> Tung's rocking our new summer arm warmers, or not, not arm warmers, our summer arm protectors. Oh, cool little view over here. Unfortunately, we can't go in there. 
but you should see some more views up here. We're actually getting towards pretty high ground. We've been gradually, gradually climbing our way up here. And we're heading towards the mountain area. We'll actually be going into the base of one of the mountains. And that's where the waterfall is that we're riding to. Supposedly, you can also take a dip in the river, which is something we really want to do. It sounds really appealing right now in the hot weather. So we'll have to check it out once we're there. Actually, I rode there yesterday. I was scoping out this route, but I got there after the sun already set, so I couldn't really see anything. But I just wanted to double check and make sure the route was safe. Looks like we're not the only ones riding here, though. She's on a Hummer bike. Oh, yeah. Hummer bikes are also pretty big here in Japan. Masugu. And yeah, really big company here. What's this? Technol 8. I have no idea what it is, but it is a massive building over here. And you can see we've got the mountains over in the distance now. There's also a cool little rest area here, which I'll show you guys. This is a Michi no Eki. Michi no Eki's are uh, road stops, road stations. And this is a little bit of a smaller one, but these are pretty common in Japan. It's a good place to stop if you're on a road trip or a cycling trip. You can always get some food. Miki. So we're gonna turn right here. Hello, crow. And we'll stay on the sidewalk for now because no one rides on these sidewalks. Also, when you're riding your bike here on the sidewalks in Japan, you always want to double check for this sign. If it has the bike and the pedestrian, it means it's okay to ride your bike here. But if it's just the pedestrian, it means you can't ride your bike there. And it is a weekday, by the way. So weekday afternoon, People should be starting to get out of work pretty soon. Let's see, what time is it? It's about five o'clock right now, 5 p.m. And we've ridden about 14 kilometers so far. So about 14 kilometers away from our home. And we live in a pretty busy area. There's a lot of shops right nearby us. So it's pretty cool that we're able to get to this more countryside area really quickly. So we're going to take a quick little detour in the Michi no Eki. Show you guys a quick little tour of what these look like. This one's a little bit smaller than some other ones you'll see, but it's still pretty nice. So we'll just do a full little loop real quick. We got a convenience store so you can get your normal convenience store snacks. And we've also got the regular center here so you can get some souvenir goods or regular restaurant goods. So yeah, they got a little cafe in there. We're not gonna go inside. Uh, they also have some food stands here as well. So you see they got the trailer here and some booths. And I'm not sure where that guy's coming. Oh, there's a camp car section over here. Took the meter. But everything is shut down right now. Yeah, off in the distance, you can see some camp cars over there. I actually had no idea that was there until I just came here. So, but yeah, these Michi no Ekis, 
is where people stop on their road trips. It's where trucks will stop, uh, people in regular cars will stop, but it's also really popular for cyclists. You can see we've got a little bike rack over here. So you can park your bike, grab a drink, and they got superheroes on their vending machines. They got some katsu, some fried soba, and another little cafe right here. So this is a pretty popular little cafe before people go out on their rides. In this area, a lot of cyclists will be stopping over here. But we're not going inside any places today. We're gonna continue on with our ride. The Wahoo is yelling at me, telling me, get back on the main road. So here we go. And check out that cool little chimney they got here. Very cool. Beautiful mountains off in the distance. They're calling our names. It's having us veer off to the right here. Let's get over to the left side of the road, which is the right side of the road here in Japan. Passing through another little old style neighborhood here. Some cool design, the temple. Uh, that looks like a kind of tourism bus. So they have a lot of shuttle buses as well in the tourist areas to get people around. Really good public transportation here in Japan. Let's sneak in here. So usually people after the workday are riding from the countryside back to the city, ironically. More people live towards the city area. Um, but some people do work in the city and will drive back here after work. Gonna turn here. I'm just trusting the Wahoo where it tells me where to go. Uh, sometimes it takes you on some strange roads, so yeah, it's taking us in a supermarket area right now. That's okay, I think we're just cutting through the parking lot. Out here in the outskirts, you'll get a lot more open parking lots like this. So here we go, this is a supermarket. Let's get out of here though. Yeah, we got we got to cross here at the crosswalk. This is going to be 
pretty difficult one. Thank you. Just wait. And I often get lost in these little side roads, but luckily there's always a and I often get really lost in these side roads, but fortunately I've got the map view on here so I can go the right direction we need to go. So we gotta turn right here. Nice new pavement here. Not for long. <laughs> And yeah, I love these adventure rides, just plugging in some random directions and seeing where it tells me to go. Ooh, nice view for these houses up here. Oh, pretty narrow. Some solar panels though, check that out. And yeah, these, even though we're in the countryside, things are more spread out. You can see all these houses are built really close to each other. Really close. Left here, wave to the mirror. And descend. Back down by the main road. Let's get it. Okay. So we're getting pretty deep away from the residential areas now and you can see we got the mountains right there that's the highway overpass going through the mountains a lot of highway here is either built over mountains or through mountains a combination and pretty amazingly i've never been here before so i do a lot of cycling over in those mountains over there but i never came this way and one of my friends posted some pictures in here lately and I realized that this place looked really cool and it was really nearby so I wanted to go check it out so that's what we're doing today and we're doing another evening ride just because it's the best sunlight direction uh, for filming video this way so we're gonna get a nice I think night ride back home which is nice because it's not so hot and we can get some dinner right after but I like showing you guys some more of these country style rides as well, not just the city rides. There's some really great cycling out this way. And even way out here, we've still got our vending machines.
there's just some abandoned cars here. Car yard. It is nice and cool though, in here once here, beneath the tall trees. Huge temperature change. And I think we're getting pretty close. Yeah, just another kilometer or two away. There's some Waterfalls, mini waterfalls, as we cycle along the river here. Here's the overpass. Going right underneath it now. I guess everyone's leaving now. Paid parking area, by the way. There is no such thing as free parking in Japan. So one day, 500 yen, about $5. Another disadvantage of living here in Japan and owning a car, but if you have a bike, everywhere's free. That's how we go everywhere by bike. So a fair number of people out here today And another cool thing I've shown you guys a couple times on my channel is this is the Tokai Shizen Hodo. So it's the Tokai region walking path. And this is an official walking trail, hiking trail, which goes all along the Tokai area. And this connects, it's a really long hiking path. We're thinking to do it one day and try and hike a decent amount and come back by train. But yeah, let us know if that's something you'd be interested in. No barbecue, no golf. Do it's Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, lots of bugs here. Lots of bugs here in the forest. Nice little parking area for bikes.
And we don't want to ride where there's pedestrians walking, so we'll get off our bikes for right now. You can see there's a little waterfall over there. And we got the phone booth. Those are everywhere still in Japan. And yeah, I think there's a couple other regular facilities here. So we got a bathroom here and a restaurant, some different shops. And if you wanted to go see the observatory up at the top, you can go up here. Ne hiking mo dekiru. Tsukareta? Yeah. So it's Tunchan's first big ride outside in a long time. Ne saikin amari sotte de hashite nai ne. Tokyo toku ni atsu. Toku ni atsu. Yeah. Saikin, ma spin bike chotto noteru kero, sotte de hashite nai kara atsu san ni narete nai. Zenbu. Yeah. Yeah. In Japanese, we say mushiatsu. Very, very humid, very hot. Just by walking outside, you're going to be sweating. So this is a, a shop here. Looks like they're open from Friday, so maybe not open on weekdays. Here we go, we're starting to get some nicer views. So there we go. We got the bikes. We got the waterfall. Hider. Nani? I saw a fish. Yes, a giant. Little fish. Baby fish. Oh, I did die. So, we got a little shop here. And you can cross over here. Yeah, I'm not sure everything that they have here, but I do know that this is a sort of you can go in the river here and cool down a little bit. It doesn't look very deep though. So check this out. Nice little cool area, but yeah, just a couple inches deep. Nothing really, nothing really that steep, but maybe, maybe we can go more upstream. Some more food shops here, but everything's closed right now. Lots of people still out. more little waterfalls here. Uh, sandal. Fuku. Ah, fuku? Yeah. Fuku, you're nice. Sona fuku de ijan. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Check out this cool building over here. I'm guessing this is a hotel. You can stay here. <laughs> oh, we got a nice little red bridge as well. Oh, very cool. This is our photo for today. Photo spot. Beautiful Japan. Right next to some vending machines. Just <laughs> yoko. All right, good thing we got our photos when we did because there's a lot of people on that bridge now. We're going to continue our way up here, see what else we can find. 
another little food truck here. Everything closed right now. I'm guessing it's because it's a weekday, but we're gonna keep walking just because I don't wanna upset anyone by riding here. But yeah, I think we definitely wanna take a dip in the river or at least wash our faces. We didn't come prepared or anything, but I think we're gonna finish this video with a little river dip. And looks like they got a little hiking trail over on the other side as well. I'm sure this is connected to a bunch of different hiking paths though. Oh, big dog over there. No barbecue. No entry. I guess he can't enter up here. Actually, I have been to this section on this park before because I know that this path leads to one of my secret mountain bike paths, which is weird because it doesn't let you to enter from here, but you are able to enter from the other side. And there's sort of a secret mountain bike hiking uh, trail network that will exit out here. And I was riding it a couple times and I exited out here. I had no idea where I was and I ended up just going back the way I came. So this does lead to some uh, secret mountain bike paths, but you can see it doesn't let you go enter from here, but if you take some other paths to get there, uh, you can get back there. So I think there's one pretty big taki or waterfall up here somewhere. So we've got these guys so far. And these are all momiji. So in the fall, these will all be beautiful red colors. But more importantly, oh. I feel like we're spying. <laughs> Let's double check the map. So I think this is red Iwa Yado. Maybe if I'm reading that correctly, Iwa is like rock or boulder. And this is like house. And that's like sort of like, I don't know, cafeteria kind of building. So yeah, basically it's like the big rock place. And there's supposedly some like big famous rocks here. So does it say where we are? Okay, so we just came up here. We entered from over here. We came up this way. This is the red bridge, the famous red bridge. And it looks like if we keep going this way, we get to the Seto Big Waterfall. So I think we got to go up that way. It's not too much further ahead. Um, and it looks like this is a hiking path, which you can go this way. And this brown path is the official Tokai uh, long hiking, long walking path. So we could do that one day, hopefully. And there's some big boulders over this way, I guess. Wow. All right, so I think we're going to finish to our goal. Let's go over to the Seto Big Waterfall. Yeah, so no riding bikes in here. But I think walking bikes is okay. We're going to walk. And we still got some Aji... Oh, no, not Ajisai. Ah, oh, these are Ajisai. Hydrangea. Mountain Ajisai. I've also been wanting to do another bike and hike lately. So bike to some hiking trails, kind of like here, and do a separate hiking section as well. So let us know if that's something you'd like to see more of. This is our way we can do our social distancing, especially on the weekdays. No one goes out on the weekdays. All right, we came across some stairs, so we're gonna temporarily park our bikes right here off to the side, but we are right here by the waterfall. So it's not too far away. No one else is here, so it shouldn't be in the way. Last few steps. Check that out. Watch out for bears. That is not something you want to see when you're out here. Oh, maybe that wasn't the big waterfall. Because it seems like this trail is still going. Ooh, check this out. 
Getting a nice cool breeze from the water though. Okay, this is a little bit further up than I was expecting, but I think the bikes will be okay. It is Japan. We are in the countryside. Oh, oh wow. Check this out. Now this is cool. Oh, that is nice and cold. Uh, washing my face, all the sweat. Oh, there it is. Okay. Very cool. We got to be careful here, though. Ah, watch out for snakes. And lastly, let's see if there's anything over here. Oh wow, this connects to some sort of main road over here. I'm not sure if cars can still come up here though. I'll have to see if there's a way to come over here by bicycle. Maybe there's some other roads we can explore. But check this out. We got another view from over here. All right, we're gonna finish up our video here for today. We had an awesome adventure exploring some new roads with you guys. Be sure to give this video a like if you'd like to see some more random exploration ride videos like this. And let's see what Chun Chan has to say. Kyo no Rairo, how was it? It's a good place to go. It's a good place to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good place to go. Yeah, it's a good place to go. I want to swim. Yeah. Yeah, but. But. No scan. No scan. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. No sandal. No sandal. Ah, we just have our cycling shoes today. All right, guys, though, thank you for watching today's video. We're also going to film a short little walking video for Tuan Chan's channel. So if you want to see some more video here, check out Tuan Chan's walking channel. And we'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.